Hi everyone. Friends, have you ever played with Mikado sticks? When we throw these sticks, they fall above and beside to each other. I observed that every time they were set up with different arrangements. So I thought to start with one stick and increase number of sticks one by one. Through which I learned something very crucial which we will be experiencing in this session. When we see only one stick, it resembles us like a line drawn on paper in any possible direction. And when there are two sticks in contact, it can be seen in several different ways. But let's observe it only when its end points are in contact and make an angle. In such scenes, with two sticks, only one angle can be inscribed. So what do you think? If two sticks make one angle, then with three sticks, how many possible number of angles can be formed? Well, they can either form two angles or even three angles. When only two angles can be made, it will be an open figure from one side. And when it forms three angles, it will be a closed figure, a triangle. Now let's take four sticks and try to form a closed figure. How many angles will it make? It will definitely make four angles. As soon as number of sides increase, number of angles also increase. Please keep in mind one thing. In closed figures, always number of sides equal to number of angles. You can try it with any number of sticks, five, six, seven, and so on. Basically, a closed figure starts from three sides. Therefore, in general, a closed figure with three or more than three sides is called as polygon, where poly means many and gon means angle. So a triangle is a polygon with three sides. And a polygon with four sides is called as quadrilateral. With five, pentagon, with six, hexagon, and so on. Friends, we are familiar with triangles. So let's move a step ahead and learn something about a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is a two Latin words, quadri and lattice, where quadri means four and lateral means sides. You can see on the screen, there are a number of quadrilaterals formed by the Mikado sticks. According to shapes, a quadrilateral is divided into three different types. First of all, in any types of quadrilateral, there will be four angles made by four sides. Points where sides meet each other are called vertices. In this session, we are going to learn about the first type of the quadrilateral. Okay, now keep two sticks parallel to each other and another pair of parallel stick above this so that it form a quadrilateral. If we notice, this quadrilateral will always have two pair of equal sides. Friends, if opposite sides of a quadrilateral are parallel, then they will be equal and vice versa. Means, if they are equal, they will be parallel. Our names may not be according to our nature, but in geometry, names always represent their character. Since both the opposite sides are parallel, it has given a name, parallelogram. Let's have a look at the angles. We can say that there is no specific measurement. So we say that a parallelogram may have any angles between 0 to 180 degrees. But its opposite angles will always be equal. We have been saying that opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal and parallel. If not only opposite sides, but also all the sides are equal in length, will it be a parallelogram? The answer is yes. Why not? A quadrilateral is recognized as parallelograms only when opposite sides are parallel. 
even in this case they will be parallel only since it has one extra or you can say a unique property of having equal sides this parallelogram is called as rhombus okay guys we got a new family member of parallelogram let's play with these parallel sides and see how many members belong to this family let's pull one of the corners of these mikado sticks from left to right can you tell me at which point it will cover or occupy maximum area or area will not change friends area will definitely change and it will occupy maximum when parallelogram makes 90 degrees of angle at the corner because area depends on the width which is always largest when it is 90 degrees as compared to rest of the positions and only in this position the distance between opposite vertices which is called as diagonals become equal while in rest of the shapes they are unequal the conclusion is a parallelogram or a rhombus occupies maximum area when the angles are of 90 degrees we will learn more about the areas in our further session for now let's move forward due to this special quality at that particular state a parallelogram is recognized as a rectangle and rhombus is recognized as square and they all belong to the parallelogram family friends what we notice here is a square rectangle rhombus can be called as parallelogram but every parallelogram cannot be called as square rectangle or rhombus are you getting it let's see what we learned till now in our further session we will be discussing our rest two types of quadrilateral for that stay tuned to let's tilt keep watching keep enjoying math subscribe to the channel and hit like if you like the session we welcome your queries and comments thank you